Hi everybody, Ross Dog here, and this special program 5.1 is upon us right now. What lies in store for us? Let's find out together. Are the voice actors, English voice actors, even going to be here because they're on strike? Who knows? I guess we'll find out in three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, baby. All right. Oh, trailer time, as always. I've had concerns for a long time. in German. Malika's plan needs too much time, and too many things can go wrong. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at Everything a huge price. Everything comes at a huge price. Everything. This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind, so Auroron was indeed uh, yes! threatened. Yes! Scroll <laughs> Great goal, Malika. Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. All right, digging the music. She's a DJ. Bring it. DJ, DJ. Letting brave memes echo. Oh, she's dancing. She's dancing. She's grooving. What's the move? If she's trying to finish that ancient name. There's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. Mm. All right. We're grooving. Grab your good tech enemies. All right. Go oh, fire your lasers. Oh, oh, it goes into the claw. All right. Cool, 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 cool. If you bet that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. Mm -hmm. And once you've learned the truth of <laughs> the back. Pyro Archon Malwika, never willingly share with you you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal fine we have to make the decision for her here blow it up now a land without the lord of the night without the protection of the wolves is doomed from the start you presume too much humanity's survival is worth any price Charge! let's give them everything we charge that mom must pay the price, and only Malika's death can clear the debt. All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first, and I'm not giving up. Okay. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure the Full blown war going out here. You've experienced something similar, Malika. You should know exactly what I mean. Hmm. Okay, okay, the rainbow destined to burn. Let's go. It's freaking looking good. Oh, oh right, we, we get the code right away. There's your code right away. XSM, E6, NV, 4G, X, 2Z. All right, let's go. Uh, looking good though, looking good for the trailer. Looking good. Good kickoff. What's going on? There's a big up war going on at the moment. So will Malvika be sacrificing herself? Who knows, who knows? Yeah, we're just getting animals. Hello, oh. travelers. Welcome to the Genshin <laughs> just Impact NPCs. version 5.1 special program. My name is Gabe, and I'm okay. from the Genshin Impact <laughs> We're just getting regular NPC, team. folks. And I'm Hi, I'm also from the Loke team. Oh. And we'll be your host for today's program. Okay. We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk mm. about the latest uh, yeah, update. Yeah, you can explain why I'm the voice actors are talking about what's coming in version 5.1. Totally. I'm sure that everyone else is just as excited to find out about mm. the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. Yeah, this is going to be First very up, condensed. Shilonen will be yep. our new playable character in version 5.1. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Shilonen, Shilonen. has a lot So that's how they pronounce it. Where should we start? Jolin. Yeah. We should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen <laughs> is a famous boom. myth from the Children of Echoes, one of our okay. six tribes. She forges all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. Vehicles. You name it, and she'll I'm make sure it. I'm sure she will. Cool. <laughs> We've oh, quite already does. seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses and Kachina's drill, Turbo nice. Twirly. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Mm -hmm. Wow, she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and this is all so really awkward. Varied. She commands so much respect in that land, but her job is really challenging. Yeah. yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is she a Lonan. really skilled smith, so but she her work Lonan. mindset is the she true Lonan. key to her success. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. Yep. You can't accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes that it's important to take breaks. Mm -hmm. So what does she do she during her time? <laughs> 
Well, for one, she likes I, to see DJ in, we saw her. tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the ignition teaser. Mm. Yes. But that's not her only hobby. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, yeah. That's a popular pastime. Yes, sir. Track, she right? looks good, though. Absolutely. She is looking good. Looking those fire. Those We're going for her. We're going to go for our first QMO. She's a record player. Cool. She made them so that she could listen to music during her work mm -hmm. breaks. And the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. They're pretty handy. Wow, it seems like her skill set is really convenient. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it oh, easier to get really? around. Let's take a look. Great. Great! <laughs> I'll grab my stuff. All right, let's have a look how Shilonen does. Ooh, she's seen her Let's go. blessing attire. Well, she's just a front flip. Yeah. Wow, she makes climbing yeah, she, look so easy. She's jet set easy. redoing yeah. around everywhere. She can even stop in the middle oh, wow. of her climb and take in the surrounding view. Okay. Nice. I bet she finds a lot of the inspiration that way. For sure. This is all. They do. Oh, bonk. When she finds something interesting, she immediately springs into action. All right. Oh, just gets a wee pump for mood for a quick second there. Oh, she's intense. Speaking of intense, let's discuss her battle mechanics. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat okay, too. Down. See those three objects right. next to her? They look like gems, right? Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Whoa, so we're just building that up, are we? shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, oh. but their element will change when you add Hydro, uh, Pyro, Pyro, okay. or Electro characters to your party. For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to oh. Hydro damage. Oh, okay. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistances of nearby okay. enemies. Okay, I think I understand her kit right. now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there are at two least different. two different yeah. Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro right. characters mm, in your party. Interesting. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's like, yeah. and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental okay. resistance. Of course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating So at least a Geo and two points. other elements oh, really? then she'll need. Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. I'm guessing. When Shilonen is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Uh. Cool. Shilonen's elemental burst deals AoE Geo damage. And if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active characters at set okay, intervals. Okay, okay. All right, that's all we have for Shilonen's skills. Mm, yep. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention something important. What is it? <laughs> ancient names. Shilonen inherited the art of ancient <laughs> name forging. Okay. The Pyro Archon even appointed her to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Ancient names record the deeds of Netland's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something it's like amazing. that. It's amazing. It's exactly. unbelievable. Natland cherishes its ancient names. Few have the honor of being recognized by past heroes, and even fewer individuals have the ability to forge ancient names. Be sure to check out Tribal Chronicles Nanatskaya <laughs> in version 5.1 <laughs> to learn fast. more about Shilonen <laughs> and ancient name forging. Okay. And, just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra Primo Gems and level up materials we need all the primo gems by we need, guys. completing Shilonen's Tribal every single primo gem we need. version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The traveler is an outlander, so their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. If those deeds aren't recorded, then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Mm. Yeah, no wonder the Power Archon said nobody's ever done it before. <laughs> During the version well, 5.1 Archon for everything. quest, we'll have to figure out how to overcome and that we'll always obstacle. Do it. Traveler we'll will always get it. We'll also get the chance to meet Sitlali from Sitlali. the Masters of the Nightwind. 
Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about mm -hmm. the Wyub, so she might be able to turn the tides. Oh, wait, in our what, what, what are those ice expressions? Course, the traveler's ancient name <laughs> won't be the only obstacle. The okay. The threat of the abyss remains, and it seems like Auroran, Auroran. a mysterious member of the Masters okay. of the Nightwind, is working on a secret plan. Ooh. There's so much mm -hmm. to look forward to. Travelers can also always oh, got to have a dark, mysterious character. And he's Electro as well. Right? <laughs> You're exactly right. Just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn an extra 500 quest, Primo right? gems if they complete the Natlan yep. Archon yes, quest sir. Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. But that's not all. Extra wait, rewards will also more. be available for exploring Natlan during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total yes, of I heard about this. extra primo gems. So if you've got 80, is it eighty percent quests and at least eighty percent, yeah, eighty percent done, you can progress. get four hundred primo gems. Travelers who already reached the required amount of progress in version can 5.0 just get them right away. Can directly claim the rewards during the new. Version. I have barely explored that one. If, if I'm more honest. laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That means you will have mm. all of version 5.1 okay, They're giving you time to do it then. They're giving you some time to do the it. the conditions and claim the rewards. Okay. Yeah. Can we expect similar rewards to become available well, yeah, as I'd the like map to think expands so. in future updates? Yeah. You bet. <laughs> Limited time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Natlan areas. Yes. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. I mean, 400, way, I mean, it's two, have enough two and a bit wishes. New maps and two, no, it's just, just two wishes, two wishes, and you still need Each a wee bit more. comes with a ton of activities. <laughs> You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain But we need all them wishes we can get, guys. We need them all. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. We should give the travelers an example. No problem. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure okay. Trace. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture phlogiston aphids. It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, which corroded. caused them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Well, no, that's the whole point right here. really going through a tough time. Tell me about it. Luckily, the corrosion levels are still reversible. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their hmm. shields. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere okay. in Atlanta, travelers who venture into a specific underground cavern will yep. discover Got a have secret your mechanical source enemy that was left behind by a lost civilization. The secret source constructor awaits mm. all challengers. If so that'll you be Shilonen's upgrade materials. Boss, then you can yeah, that'll be her match. Materials. Definitely. I bet Shilonen would yeah. love to get her hands on the parts of that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We introduced our new character and the new boss. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Yeah, they're the just like, they can't have too one. much uh, chit chat. Look forward to event wishes so for boom, boom. and Jory, God, Jory's getting a rerun a already. Holy star cow. Sword, Peak Patrol Song will be featured on the weapon wow. banner. And in the second half of version 5.1, we'll have returning okay. event wishes for Okay, oh, and a Hutao rerun. Okay, Hutao. all right. Well, yes. you know, he doesn't Hutao four means, so you go. And weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. Does that mean Staff of Homeless okay. gets a rerun as well? If you're interested in them. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. But it's about time for our first break. See you soon, travelers. See you soon. Bye. All right, second code. Let's go. K A Kalf. Kalf 66. Klugum. Exkabum. <laughs> C L G X T N. Okay, Inter so she's an interesting. Um, got some interesting mechanics there. She Lunin does. So it sounds like she definitely need another Geo character then, and then two elements for it to work. So I don't know. Just try to think of like weird combinations you can do. Because I'm wondering if like you do Raiden's special. Like it, she'll always have the electric, right? She'll always have the electric one working for her. And then, yeah, put Yolan in there as well. And then another Geo character, which I do not have. <laughs> very like Lester and Geo character. I'll just throw Noel in there. Noel, you go in there. Have some fun. Have some fun. We'll do Jylan, Noel, Yolan, and Raiden, just for funsies. <laughs> just to see what happens. Or Jing Chu could work as well, I guess. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone can figure out where we're mm. at. <laughs> yep, it's Sumeru City. It is. Things are looking really festive. That's because we're celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. 
I still better. remember how the Sub-Zero's festival kept repeating during the Archon Quest two years ago. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the mm -hmm. sanctuary of Surastana. Right, and Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of, when I woke up, I was riding in a flower mm. carriage. Okay. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. Right. Definitely. The traveler really well, we helped out over by Nahida's exposing story? the academia, that that and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we yeah. all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Is this the event? So, right, okay. One event, chromatic oh, kinda, sorry, roses, okay, okay. Travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she deserves. <laughs> all right, finally. I'm sure that'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be a lovely event. Actually, I have I'm sure it'll be a cute event for Nahida. I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek at this sub Sub Zero. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, that's a lot of oh, people. So we got Kanda. It looks like they're secretly discussing okay. something. Tainari, this year, the Academia Kauai. is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Think of it as a small way to make up for their past mistakes. Mm -hmm. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a of bunch course. of friends from Sumeru to cast. prepare a special surprise for Nikita. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see oh. her reaction. Will there be tears of involved? Course, a surprise is yeah, keep it a secret. only as your ability to keep, keep it, a it a secret. Keep it a secret. Got a secret, so can you keep it? don't give it away, Travelers. The flower carriage is another important part of Sub-Zero's okay. festival. This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off without a hitch. <laughs> That's so nice of them. And the traveler will serve as the knight of flowers. So is it going to grow into a big size one? Yes, yeah, a freaking Cinderella all of a sudden. <laughs> wow. So okay. the traveler is like Nahida's Pretty protector. Much. Yeah, it looks like oh, the R and Rs are also involved in the festival. Got to have them involved. If you want to learn more about this year's Sub Zero's festival, including the birthday mm -hmm. surprise, then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1. It's time to make some memories sweeter than candied Agile Nakas. Nice. These Travelers nuts. Can also look Get them forward nuts. To different types That's what... of gameplay during the event. What? Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Travelers can take it for a spin during the event, rocking carriage. Oh, okay. The goal is to control the direction of the carriage <laughs> to avoid Just a simple event, just go from left to right. Gathering as many flowers Endless as runner possible. ones, but we've got a carriage like instead. Blessings along the way, yeah. and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. Nice. So endless run runner in type of dealio event, stuff. In a reflection of reality and dreams, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies <laughs> within the dreams, <laughs> fix, and fix fix everything. Them. Stuff that shouldn't be there. Oh, so it's like a spot the difference game. That's one of my specialties. <laughs> in the third event, Shadow right, of the Night ones. the Knight of Flowers must eradicate evil on behalf of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. You can even increase your performance level and earn buffs by satisfying mm. special conditions during the challenge. Ah, uh, this should be a breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, Looks wow, like wow. Someone's wow. excited <laughs> for the sub -Zero's festival. I hope travelers feel the same way. Hey, I'm sure they will. In addition to Nahida's birthday celebration, version 5.1 offers other exciting events. In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Go for the hardest Each one, guys, for a laugh. Comes with Just unique do it. Buffs. Go for it. Use them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. <laughs> Just You'll do find it. tougher enemies at higher difficulty mm -hmm. levels. In Reminiscent Regiment Thrill, travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge oh. with four random stages. But what if there's nobody Each online playing? Will feature How different can I reminiscent reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. You can give your team an advantage by choosing a buff that works with the specific stage design. It's all about optimizing That's it. teamwork. Work as a team, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. Just do big, After big DPS numbers, big PP numbers. That's all you need to do. Stars based on That's their it. performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Envisage Echoes challenges will also be okay. added in version 5.1. Travelers will now be able to obtain Echoes for Zhongli and Keqing. Whoa, I'll get Keqing's because I recently really just got cool. Keqing, but a free pull we got. Is also beautiful. She leaves a trail of flowers behind her. I'll get Keqing's then, me as well. Whoa, save some excitement or do I just keep holding out until they eventually add Raiden? Right version 5.1, a few familiar I don't faces play TCG. will also be added to TCG in so long. 
travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. There's even the Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. That's not all. Well, all you TCG folks out there, there you go. Some good Wait, stuff for you. Do you mean? That's right. Lieben will be back in Lieben Schmieben. Just Where like is he? Always, Get your box of mysteries. Your items for primo gems and level up materials. I even heard that Natlin specific materials will be available Ooh, during his latest okay. visit. Awesome. That should be all for the version 5.1 events. That means it's about time for our second. All right, for the final you code. We'll yeah, be they, right they back, rush through it because they can't have the banter the uh, voice actors have. So it is just like boom, 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 boom. Here's Yeah, it's just very straightforward, very just boom. Ah, well. P, T, 5, W, P, 65, G, X, J, 9. So yeah, well, it's what you usually expect. It's, you know, by the numbers, we got our events. That's the map rewards now we're getting. So all you exploration people, if you've got 80% in that one, good for you. TCG, again. I have not touched that in so goddamn long, but uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe they just need to like add rewards. Like I, I don't need to do it if there's no primo gems involved. If they added some more primo gems as rewards, then maybe it would bring you back. But it's it's it's, it's in a weird state. The TCG. It's in a weird state. I think. But if you enjoy it, by all means, carry on enjoy it. You get some new cards all the time. Enjoy it. Figure it all out. The meta has probably changed from when I first played it way back when, so I don't know what the meta is now to go for, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Welcome back, oh, travelers. Spiral Abyss. It's time to jump into the system optimizations. First up, a skip feature will be added to the Spiral oh, Abyss. Oh, yeah, you can go straight this floor. This change yes. allows you to skip floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on floor 11 of the previous Spiral Abyss. Obtaining full stars on floor 12 oh, well. will allow you to skip both floor All right, well, 9 we'll just be and skipping floor, floor 9. <laughs> Hopefully, this change will create a smoother experience. Uh, that sounds so convenient. Yeah, I know, right? Just as a reminder, the Primo Gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to Still be cleaned manually. manually, of course. But floor rewards, such as domain reliquaries, will be distributed automatically when you open the Spiral oh, Abyss okay. interface. In addition, you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice. Okay. You don't have to keep opening them one by one. Yeah. Continuing with more optimization. <laughs> more, more trash it'll give me. The sorting <laughs> logic of the character artifact interface has been improved. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single time. Wait. You can also sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also oh, be saved. Oh, right. So it's not proper that save set yet. Okay. I thought we were getting save sets. I was like, finally. Totally. Right, it's just the save ascension options, mechanics will right. also be optimized in version 5.1. Okay. You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character right, ascension what you need. goals. Okay. This will allow you to easily view and craft the number yeah, of how materials much you that need. you need. Now, you don't have to calculate the required materials. I probably still will. I'll probably forget about this feature. <laughs> all of that. I'll forget bench. about it. I'm still doing my own calculation. Version 5.1 will also be adding other small optimizations. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four wow. years old tomorrow. Wow. We've had an incredible we journey We got anything so for the four-year right? anniversary? Let's see where this path has taken us. It's time to relive some amazing memories. Are we getting memories. it? Let's do it. All right, memory time. Trip down memory lane, guys. Let's go. Four years of Genshin. Of Genshin. All right. I kind of like stop motion animation, that old style stuff. Okay. Passing memories, okay. Oh, God. Oh, how it all began. So weird. I mean, that was just in that uh, recent one we had, that event. Um, yeah. Oh. All started. Sometimes it's cloudy. Clean. No. That's what journey means. Can't see. 
Luna. Get your socks wet. Ayaka. But we still must pursue the dream. Travel through the heights and shallow. Oh, that's put on sturdy shell to fit the barrels. I hear okay. about your last train. Love is shining bright in the deep night. Do it, do it, do it, do it. the sword let's go <laughs> sorry oh you know right, we've done a ton of story haven't we transitions are good Oh, okay, that's a, yeah, that's a recent Rip Dragon from that one. <laughs> ah, bonk, bonk. It's like all the World Quest ones now we're showing. Retainer. That was a nice one. Go on, Kazuya. Fight, fight, Raiden. Do your best, buddy. It's been a great journey, it's been a great story. Again. Always tease it, always tease it. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. What's this in an art? Pyro, Pyro MC? Pyro, what's going on here? Okay. Is that what they're just hinting at hey, there? Happy birthday. Use the power of Pyro. <laughs> wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time gone? It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight against Storm Terror, the battle of the, the Jade Chamber, Nahida saying goodbye to Greater Lord Aww. Ruka Devada, no. the Masquerade of the Guilty. I know, and I'm definitely going to have that song on repeat. That's exactly what I did with the Natland Symphony performance. It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natland's first <laughs> wow, album, what weird coincidence. Land of Play <laughs> is about to be released. The album contains three discs featuring 78 <laughs> original tracks composed for Genshin Impact. Yay! We can finally add Natland's regional soundtrack to our playlist. Let's go! Yeah. Ow. All right. Hmm. That so nothing four like to four years birthday. We have to share. Nothing. That means anything? it's time no. for the special program to come to an end. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Yeah, for sure. The shizzle. Well, I think there's so much cool content coming in this version. And hey, come on, fourth anniversary. Yeah, that's what are we so getting? Huge. Anything for the fourth anniversary? Yeah. I mean, we've put so much work Just into this game. Just a music video, that's years, it. And okay. every version has been special. But I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean, seriously, Genshin or they just Impact like since is, it was we got all the stuff in the 5.0 series. You're not getting anything actually me. on the day of the work, anniversary. My life. We gave you all the free stuff right. in the 5.0 stuff. I play stuff. Genshin Impact every day. I talk about Genshin Impact every day, and I interact with players online. It's all these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. totally. So if I have to say something this time, 
we are truly, truly grateful that you guys, our players, are continue playing hey, this well, game. Hey, we're, we're getting there. We are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next <laughs> in the game. Awesome. Do the right thing for yeah. your voice actors. No, Do totally the right thing. Agree. That's so <laughs> great. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these past four years. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Oh, there you go. Bye. Yeah, pretty straight by the books. Like I said, it was going to be anything. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it was going to be straight by the books. Um, yeah, I mean, the trail looks great. The story looks great. I mean, there's nothing that's been, like, crazy blowing away that I can recall. I mean, we get the... I thought I thought for a second there we were getting, like, save sets. But it was, like, save sets of what options you're looking for for that character. So we haven't got saved sets just yet. <laughs> we're still waiting for that. Still, still, still waiting for that. But it looks good. It looks fun. It's by the books. Shalunin, we're definitely getting. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's who we are rolling for. The map rewards are cool. Like, so now, like, people who do exploration, you get that extra wee bit of a reward, which is cool as well. Again, TCG. I don't play it, but for all you TCG players, it looks good. Um, yeah, it should be a fun patch. The story looks... The story is definitely going to be the, the main bulk of it. That's the thing that's going to be holding everything up. We get a ton of events, as we usually do. So, lots of rewards are available for all you free-to-play players. But, yeah, we're definitely going for Shalunin. That is who we are going for, definitely. And, hey, you can let me know. What was your favorite part of this special program? Are you going for Shalunin as well? Are you going to be rolling for her? The trailer does look amazing. The trailer looks really, really good. What was your favorite part? The music video at the end was really nice as well. That was a nice, sweet music video. Four years is uh, its crazy. It's flown by. This 2020, man, this decade is just like gone in an instant. It's so weird. It's so bizarre, but it is what it is. But anyways, if you somehow found this video, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Like I said, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part was, what you're most looking forward to. And until the next time, I will give you all one last Genshin Impact. Cycle 5. And take care of yourselves. I ain't Trevor. Until next time. Peace.